YouTube, it is me again, back with another video, and this time we are doing Lily Stargazer. It's another one of my flower girls, and this is probably the least creative name I could have possibly come up with, because the flower is literally a stargazer, Lily, so I just swapped them around, because Lily is an acceptable name. Yeah, I bet you're feeling real proud of your girl right now. <laughs> Um, I tried to go outside of my comfort zone a little and draw someone who looks Asian. And I think she turned out really pretty. Um, because, I don't know, I, I tend to draw people who look more like me or more like my family members. That's not true. I have a really weird, diverse family, but people who look more like me, and that's what I'm comfortable with, but... I don't want to just draw what I'm comfortable with, so I decided that I was going to look up uh, a bit more of a diverse range of references. That's something that I think is really important and really interesting, and it was fun. And I really think that she turned out quite cute. Um, <laughs> so I wanted this to have a very bright uh, design. I wanted to really bring in the stargazer lily because I think it's one of the prettier kinds of lilies. It's very um, pink and freckly, I guess. And I thought it would be really fun to have a very freckly um, person. And having the little dots on the flowers meant that I was able to have freckles and have justified freckles, which um, I love freckles in general. So that's awesome. And I, one of the things you may have noticed about me is that I really struggle with necks and shoulders in relations to heads. I don't know why it's so hard, but it's hard. Also, I really wanted to emulate the shape of the flower a little bit more in this one. So when you're seeing me get into the hair, I really wanted to do hair that kind of had, kind of had a little bit more of a like a shape to it. So I decided that I was gonna do like space buns or like top ponytails or pigtails and then the rest of her hair coming down to kind of emulate that um, petals out in all directions vibe that a lily has. And I decided that I was gonna go with space buns because space buns are cute and anyone who tells you any differently is lying to you. <laughs> space buns are adorbs. And I think that I pulled the space buns off pretty well. Um, I do know that I have done space buns once before in the Flower Girl series, but I like to think that these ones are different because there's a lot more hair coming down. There's a lot more other hair. That's my excuse, you guys. And I may or may not have copy-pasted the bun. Also, that is my moment of realizing that if you mirror some of the other flower girls they look terrible yeah so I don't mirror them because I only just started doing that the whole flipping the canvas thing yeah yeah um that's embarrassing oh I gave her elf ears <laughs> Because I was realizing this whole time, I've been limiting myself very strictly to, like, humans because I'm drawing flower girls. But I really wanted to do something that was pointy, like the shape of the petals. So I was like, you know what is pointy and awesome? An elf ear. Elf ears are great. And I don't know if you've noticed, but I have a slight obsession with elf ears. I love them. If I find a face is boring, I will add elf ears. <laughs> that is not a joke. That is something I do. Um, also, here I am doing little stars because stargazer Lily. So I had to give her little starry earrings. And because she has the long ears, I gave her more than one earring because I thought it would be cute. <laughs> and I was right. I love it. Also here, I was kind of going for a more pale skin tone at first. And then I tried to go a little darker, and I ended up kind of finding a bit of a middle ground between the skin tones where she's not pale, but she's not quite as dark as I have her here. Um, I don't know. I just think that she looks good. I like, I like the balance of colors that I came up with here. And 
I am rambling so hard right now. <laughs> I'm sorry, you guys. It is really early in the morning, and I have yet to sleep because I am a masochist, apparently. Um, I have school starting here soon, and I'm going to have to eventually learn how to regulate my sleep schedule, but today is not that day, by which I mean I will suffer for this later. <laughs> So here I am adjusting her skin tone and adding in the base colors for her very pink hair which I go in and I add a gradient to her hair because if you look at the stargazer lily flowers they're not all this deep fuchsia color they fade out to white so her hair also fades out to white um, but yeah I thought that this this drawing was very fun and very cute I think that this character for me looks very peaceful, but also ends up kind of having a massive case of RBF. Um, if you don't know what RBF is, yeah, she's got a little bit of resting bitch face. She just kind of looks like she's mad, which was not at all my intention, but it feels oddly appropriate because I've actually been told that I have a really bad case of RBF like <laughs> I had a friend in high school tell me that the reason I'd never been on a date and fun fact still never been on a date um, is because I was uh, oh gosh how did you put it cold and unapproachable I think it was something and unapproachable and I was like oh okay then and I'm like why and she's like because you just always look mad and I'm like but I'm not mad <laughs> uh, kind of a fun example of this I don't know that I will ever show it because it's embarrassing it's hella embarrassing <laughs> but they they had a photographer at a school dance that we did it was called our inaugural dance because it was a dance in celebration of when our schools came together uh, the schools, the school that we shared a campus with, which ironically, those students were not invited to this dance, which just seems really counterintuitive to me, but whatever. Um, there was a photographer at this dance, and they lined all of my friends up, and I was on crutches at the time because I was going to a school dance, I didn't want to bring my wheelchair because that would be boring. <laughs> Fun fact, I ended up sitting down most of the night anyway. <laughs> I did not dance, and most of my friends danced, so I was by myself most of the night. It's okay. But we all lined up, and everyone's looking at the camera, and the photographer took a picture before I was ready. <laughs> like, I didn't know he was going to take the picture that soon. So when the pictures came back, wow, yeah, the look on my face not great it's not not a flattering look funny story about that though I have this friend who I adore with every bit of my being her name well it's not her name but her pen name the name she goes by is Alice so let's call her Alice because I don't want to like step on any toes we had this friend who we'll call Evan Evan is a strange bird, probably still is a strange bird, but was very strange in high school for sure, and he and Alice did not get along very well. In fact, they really kind of hated each other, but they liked the people the other hung out with, so that was really the only <laughs> reason they ever hung out together, because everyone else that they liked hung out with the other. Um, and Evan did not go to this dance, but Alice did. And Alice is a very not, I mean, I wouldn't say not feminine because Alice is gender fluid, I believe. That's how they identify, but I, I don't know. Um, that may have changed. Yeah, see, this is my friend. Don't you think I should be more educated? Anyway. Evan sees a picture of Alice all dolled up for the first time. 
full floor length gown, hair done, makeup, and Evan goes, who is that? She's hot. And Alice just looks at him like, dude, that's me. And the look on Evan's face was probably the best thing that I've ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> that side tangent aside, let's get back to the drawing. I just totally talked over drawing her face and coloring her hair and all of that stuff. But I hope that you enjoyed it anyway. <laughs> that was like a mini story time about my high school life. Um, that's mostly because I have no idea what to talk about for this speed paint. So I think that's probably a sign I should quit while I'm ahead. <laughs> and I will catch you guys in the next video. Have a good morning, evening, afternoon, nighttime time of day. And I will catch you guys in the next video if you're subscribed, which you should be. And you should also hit that notification bell and hit the like button and leave a comment and all that interactive stuff. And you should follow me on Instagram and Twitter because I'm really funny on Twitter. And I post things on Instagram when I remember to. And I post a lot of polls on my Instagram stories. So that's interesting and fun and you should go follow me. So, anyway, I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.